Hi friends, myself Subrata Mukherjee and you are viewing my channel Dr. Subrata Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. Today I am going to discuss a problem on retirement of partner. This is the first problem that I am going to discuss on retirement and I have already discussed the problem on appropriation of profit and on admission. You can find the lectures on partnership account in the playlist section of the channel. I would like to request all the viewers to subscribe the channel. The students can communicate with me through email which I have given in the description box. Gold, silver and diamond are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. Gold retires on 1st April 2021 on which date the balance sheet of the firm stood as under. On liability side you have capital of gold 80,000 silver 50,000 and capital of diamond is 40,000, general reserve 20,000, Sunday creditors 90,000, bills payable 15,000. On asset side we have furniture 30,000, office equipments 25,000, building 60,000, stock 77,000, Sunday debtors 75,000, cash at bank 28,000, total of balance it is 2,95,000. It is provided in the deed of partnership that in the event of death and retirement of a partner, goodwill is to be valued at two years, purchase of the average profits of the last four years, but no goodwill account is to appear in the books. The profits for the last four years were 2020 21, rupees 25,000, 2019 20, 19,000, 2018 19, rupees 15,000 and 2017-18 rupees 13,000. Furniture and building are revalued at rupees 25,000 and 75,000 respectively. Stock is overvalued by 10%. It was decided that gold should be paid rupees 50,000 immediately on retirement and the balance on his capital account is to be treated as a loan to the firm. Silver and diamond contributed necessary sums in equal proportion to pay off gold and to leave rupees 30,000 cash as working capital. Assuming the above mentioned arrangement are given effect to, you are required to show the revaluation account, the cash account and the capital accounts of the partner. So here I have prepared the structure of the revaluation account, the cash account, partner's capital account and the balance sheet as on 1st April 2021. The balance sheet of 1st April 2021 is given when there were three partners gold, silver and diamond. Now gold is going to retire and we have to read out the balance sheet on 1st April 2021 incorporating the changes, the adjustment entries that has been given in the question. So what is the first figure which is given in the balance sheet or in your question? It is regarding the balance of capital of the partners. So it is given in the question the balance of partner's capital account. So here I am writing by balance BD. The capital of gold is 80,000, silver 50,000 and diamond 40,000. So I have written here by balance BD in partner's capital account 80,000, 50,000 and 40,000. The next figure given is regarding the general reserve. So general reserve we are going to distribute among the existing partners before retirement in the profit sharing ratio. So here I am writing in partner's capital account by general reserve. So the profit sharing ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. The balance of general reserve is rupees 20,000 as given in the balance sheet and it is going to be divided among the partners into 5 is to 3 is to 2 that is 10,000, 6,000 and 4,000. The next figure given in the balance sheet is regarding the Sunday creditor. So I'm going to post it in the balance sheet. So this is the balance sheet on, as on 1st April 2021 and the balance of Sunday creditor I am writing here. The Sunday creditor balance is rupees 90,000. The next figure given is regarding the bills payable and the balance is rupees 15,000. So under liabilities I am writing bills payable 
rupees fifteen thousand. Now you come to the asset side of the balance sheet given in the question. The first figure is regarding the furniture. So the value of furniture given in the balance sheet is rupees thirty thousand, but now it is going to be revalued at rupees twenty five thousand. So I am writing here furniture twenty five thousand. And in the revaluation account, I am writing revaluation account debit to furniture because there is a devaluation in the value of furniture by rupees five thousand. So revaluation account debit to furniture five thousand, and in the balance sheet I have written twenty five thousand. The next we are given in the balance sheet is regarding the office equipment. So I am writing here under asset office equipment rupees twenty five thousand. The next figure is regarding the building. So in the balance sheet, I am writing building. The value of building given is rupees sixty thousand, but it is also revalued at rupees seventy five thousand. So in balance sheet, I am writing rupees seventy five thousand, and in revaluation account, I have to write building account debit to revaluation. So there is an increase in the value of building by rupees fifteen thousand. So in revaluation account, I am writing by building. Rupees fifteen thousand. The next figure given in the question is regarding the value of stock. So in the balance sheet, I am writing the stock, but it is given in the adjustment that there is a overvaluation of stock by ten percent. So seventy-seven thousand is the value of the stock given in the question, and what is the value exact value of stock given? It is ten percent overvalued. So hundred by Hundred ten, so you will get rupees seventy thousand. So you can also reach it. Seventy thousand is the original cost, but ten percent is overvalued. So seventy thousand plus ten percent of seventy thousand, you will get seventy-seven thousand. So the value of stock is rupees seventy thousand. So there is a reduction in the value of stock by rupees seven thousand. So in revaluation account, I am writing revaluation account debit to stock. Seven thousand. The next figure given is regarding the sundry debtors. So value of sundry debtors is rupees seventy five thousand. The balance of cash I have to write it in the cash account to two balance BD rupees twenty eight thousand. Now we are going to calculate what is the value of goodwill. So here I am doing a small calculation. This is a working note number one. You can say that is regarding valuation of goodwill. Or goodwill is equal to it is given as the average profit of the last four year into two years purchase. So twenty five thousand plus nineteen thousand. So these are the profits given in the question. So twenty five thousand, nineteen thousand, fifteen thousand, and thirteen thousand divided by Four in order to calculate the simple average into two years purchase, so you will get seventy-two thousand by four into rupees two. So the value of goodwill is rupees six thirty-six thousand. Now it is given in the question that value of goodwill is not going to appear in the balance sheet. So first of all, we have to raise the value of goodwill in the balance sheet, and then we have to write it off. So this is the partners capital account. So we have to raise the value of goodwill. So by goodwill in partners capital account, I am writing thirty six thousand is the total value of goodwill. So it will be divided among the three partners in five is to three is to two. So eighteen thousand is the share of gold. Ten thousand eight hundred is the share of silver, and seven thousand two hundred is the share of diamond. Now simultaneously, you have to write it off. So Here I am writing in partners capital account to goodwill account. Gold is not going to get anything because he is going to retire, and silver and diamond uh, will share the value of goodwill of thirty six thousand in three is to two. So we are going to divide thirty six thousand into three is to two. So twenty one thousand six hundred and fourteen thousand four hundred. So thirty six thousand is the value of goodwill, which is. Divided between silver and diamond, they are going to withdraw it from the uh, partnership firm as rupees twenty six twenty one thousand six hundred and fourteen thousand four hundred. Now we are going to close the 
uh, revaluation account and there is a profit on revaluation of rupees 3000. So here I am writing two partners capital account rupees 3000. Now this profit of rupees 3000 is going to be divided between gold, silver and diamond in 5 is to 3 is to 2. So 1500 share of silver is 900 and share of diamond is rupees 600. So in partners capital account I am writing by revaluation account 1500, 900 and 600. You will find the total of gold is rupees 1 lakh 9500. 80,000 is the original capital, 10,000 is the share in reserve, 18,000 is the share in goodwill and 1500 is the profit of revaluation. Now out of this 1 lakh 9500 gold is going to be paid cash rupees 50,000. So I am writing here gold account gold's capital account debit to cash account 50,000 and the balance we have to treat it as loan. So here I am writing to loan account 59,500. So this way we have closed the capital account of gold. So in cash account you have to write buy gold's capital account rupees 50,000 and it is given in the question that you have to maintain a cash balance of rupees 30,000 as working capital. So here I am writing buy, ca buy balance CD 30,000 rupees in cash account. So you have to place it in the balance sheet. So in balance sheet I am writing the balance of cash as rupees 30,000. So now they have decided that is silver and diamond have decided to bring cash equally in equal proportion. So 80,000 is the sum of credit side and balance of 52,000 is going to be brought in by silver that is I am writing here two partners capital account silver and diamond. So each of them is going to bring rupees 26,000. Now I am going to give this transaction in the partner's capital account. So in partner's capital account I am writing by cash. Under silver I am writing 26,000. And under the diamond column I am writing 26,000. So what is the total of silver? So you will get... 93,700 and the balance of balance capital of silver is rupees 72,100 and the total of diamond is 77,800 and here you will get a balancing figure of 63,400. So I'm going to write the capital of uh, silver and gold for rupees 72,100 and 63,400 respectively in the balance sheet and I have to show the loan of gold or gold's loan as 59,500. So in balance sheet I'm writing capital account of silver and diamond. So this is 72,100, 63,400 and gold loan of 59,500. So you will get a total of rupees 3 lakh as the total of liability and the total of asset is also rupees 3 lakh. Thanks for watching the lecture. 